Hello, beloved of God. You know, just a couple short weeks ago, dozens of us were gathering around the table together to celebrate Passover, to celebrate the Feast of Freedom, the celebration of God's liberating God's people from the oppression of Pharaoh. And as we sat around that table, we learned the story behind the matzah, the dried bread that did not have time to leaven, and the four cups of wine that remind us of God's ability to deliver us in times of distress. Part of that story, in fact, the central piece of that story, is a moment when the angel of death passes over the people of Israel because they have chosen to obey Moses' instructions to stay in their homes and to place the blood of the lamb that was their Passover lamb on the lentil around their door frames. It strikes me today as we are all being quarantined into our homes in order to be protected from a pestilence, a virus that is threatening the lives of thousands upon thousands of people across this planet and tens of thousands probably within our own country over the period of the next weeks, that we might take some courage and some fortitude from the story of the Israelites when they retreated into their homes and covered themselves with the blood of the Lamb so that they might be free from the death force that was about to attack the land of Egypt. We feel threatened by this. I feel threatened by it. We all do. It's an unknown and invisible threat. But we also have been given instructions that make clear to us how we can be safe, what we can do to secure ourselves and our families. Just as Moses gave specific instructions to the Israelites about how they could remain safe from the plague that was about to assault them. So with every bit of encouragement I can provide you, I ask you to stay home, to stay in your homes, to not do anything that you don't need to do, not just for your own protection, but to protect the thousands of other people in our community who are extremely vulnerable today. If you don't have an essential role to play in supporting the well-being of other people right now, stay home. Gather yourself at home and remember the Passover story. You know, the bookend on that story is Jesus' own life-threatening circumstance. When he was gathered with his disciples, remembering that story of freedom, remembering that story of deliverance, remembering that story of plagues, and aware that his own life was in danger. In fact, expecting any minute that the leadership of the Jews would come upon him and his disciples and take him away, likely to his death. But in the face of that threat, what did Jesus do? He celebrated with those who were closest to him. He took bread, the bread of the Passover, and he broke it. And he gave it to them and he reminded them of a new covenant. He instituted a new covenant. He said, this bread is my body, which is broken for you. All of you eat it and remember me. You know, maybe that would be something you could do with your family around the table or by yourself. It's a way of reminding you that you are covered by the love of Jesus right now. You are covered by the one who is willing to lay down his life for his friends. So take the bread and eat it. 
and remember. And take a cup of something that is celebratory for you and your household. And remember the words of Jesus when he said, This is my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, blood which will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. All of you, drink this and remember me. I truly look forward to the next time that we can share this meal together as a family of God in our house, our house of worship at 407 North Calaveras. But until then, break the bread, drink the cup, remember that the same Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, is the one who offers to us the protection of God's love, the gift of God's comfort, the encouragement of God's presence. And stay home, obey the rules, be safe, because you've been given the instruction you need to protect yourself and the ones you love. Just as Moses gave that protection 4,000 years ago, in the instructions he gave to the Israelites. God is with us. We don't need to be afraid. We just need to do what we are asked to do. I love you, I miss you, and I look forward to seeing you when we are on the other side of this.